going to be a current favourite, mostly beauty favourites, but I have got a few kind of random ones in there as well, so let's get into it. So, the first thing that I am absolutely loving, I feel like I'm just reaching for this so much at the moment, and that is the Brow Styler from Benefit. Kind of, this is like a powder at the bottom, and then the top bit is a pencil. So it's a bit of both in one, you could use one or the other, or them together, but I've been using them together with the powder first and then the pencil, and I'm absolutely loving it because I just feel like it's quick and easy. When it first came out, I liked it, but I wasn't like obsessed, and now I'm obsessed. Like, it's just so easy to have it all in, in one together. That is the one I use, and I use a shade three. Next beauty favorite I did mention in my previous vlog, if you saw that, but uh, this is the gift version. And that is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is the 72 hour one. I think that's just the original one, and it's a gel, and I love it. Coming into the winter, my skin is definitely getting drier, so I was looking for something that was a little bit more, and I found this, and I was like, I need to use this, see what I think, and I'm actually putting it up there with my Ola Hendrickson, so I'm impressed, I'm impressed, so that's that one. I have mentioned before, as I just said, Ola Hendrickson, and in my Ola Hendrickson video, I said that I was not loving this and now I feel like I'm loving it and that's the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. I've actually started to mix this with a concealer when I put it under my eyes and use a brush and I think it's really helping. I'm getting darker under eyes as I get older. Just a little bit with my concealer or if I'm going to bed I'll put a little bit more on. It's really, it's really helping and I really, I'm really happy with it at the moment. Coming into the autumn winter I am obsessed with tanning and I don't want to be pale in the winter, I want to look like I've just come back from holiday. And so I've been using this Dove tanning face cream and it is just a self tanner, like a tinted moisturiser. I do use a moisturiser as well so I don't use this as just a moisturiser. But I just feel like it makes me look so tan. I use it at night time, that's the only thing, I don't use it in the daytime. I'll use it before I go to bed and I'll just pop it on or mix it with another cream or with this cream. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's, this one's medium to dark. Um, if anyone's used the Body Dove one, you'll know what I mean, but yeah, this is great. I recommend this if you want just a bit of color on your face. That one. The next things, again, I can't rave about this enough, is the Vanilla Pumpkin range from The Body Shop. Obsessed. I finished the first one. I haven't opened this because I'm trying to save it. Ooh. Oh. I guess I've got it on my nose. Uh, I, I I love it, and I've been using, I'm nearly, nearly running out of that, is the um, Vanilla Pumpkin Shower Gel. I'm using that all the time. I just feel like I smell great. Like, I feel like I need to go and get more because they are limited edition, and it's October now. I don't know if, if now they're kind of converting into their Christmas range. So I might go and get another one because I love it. Right, sticking in the kind of makeup kind of beauty bit um, is this. I'm pretty sure they still sell this colour. Um, and this is the MAC Lip Liner in Boldly Bare. I'm pretty sure they still do this colour. And even if they don't, it's this, it's this kind of like mauvey pink colour. I really feel like this goes with any lip, nude lipstick because it's a little bit deeper. So you're going to kind of get that kind of plumper looking lip I want to say because you've got a little bit of a deeper lip liner but then like a nude on the top so yeah I feel like it goes with absolutely all of my nudes that I've got so yeah that's boldly bare man again um this is just a handbag little gift size as well but I have got a full size one but I've put it in a bag somewhere and I don't know where it is do you ever just like put your lipstick in a bag and then you lose your lipstick because I do that all the time I have is the lip comfort um, oil from Clarins. Love it. So this mint one, I swear this mint one is the best. They do loads and loads and loads of different um, shades. It's like, not shades, but they are an oil, so they're just clear, but they're like different flavours, I want to say. They do like a strawberry one, they do like loads of different ones. And this is the mint one, and supposedly the mint one makes your teeth look whiter. I've got it on, they look whiter? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I love it. I pop this on top of everything. I'm going to do it right now. It just feels so nice. I, I love it. I'm going to go and get, I've got a big one of their original colour, but I'm going to go and get the 
big one of the mint because I love the mint. To round off my little makeup section is this little, oh, it looks a bit dodgy. <laughs> this little thing. So um, I think I got this from Cherries. Yeah, and I didn't really think much of it because I think it cost like 50p, but it's so good. It's basically a makeup brush cleaner. So you literally, if, you've, if you're cleaning your makeup brushes in the sink, you stick this like on your fingers, like pump your soap or whatever you use on to here, but scrub your brush into it, it foams up and it's just so good. And then you just rinse it under the sink and yeah, it's really, really good. Oh, okay, right. Before we get into the random bit, I'm gonna just talk about this shampoo again because I have done a whole separate video on this, so I do not want to ramble on in this video, but I just wanted to mention if anyone hadn't seen that, I love it. Like, I'm getting to the point where people are like, oh, you've done something different to your hair. And no one ever says that to me because my hair always looks the same. <laughs> That's why I'm like impressed. So yeah, I will link that video down below. But yeah, these are great. I've got a few fitness favorites. And I know this is a current beauty's favorite, but I really just want to mention this because, you know, your fitness is your beauty or, you know, your health. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting at there. But I have been kind of converting back to home workouts at the moment. I got myself a new yoga mat. I wanted this yoga mat throughout all of lockdown and then they got a discount. So I was like, I'm gonna get it. Comes in this kind of like dusty bag. This is from Jess Oli's brand, which if you follow her, she's a Gymshark woman. She's a yoga, um, yoga gal, she's insane. Um, so yeah, this is her brand. And honestly, the grip on this yoga mat is insane. It's so good. So this is the color that I got. They do so many colors, but obviously I got the pink one. I don't know if you can see, I'm probably gonna put a picture on, but they do retail at about a hundred pounds, but um, I got it for 60. So I know that's still ridiculously a lot for a yoga mat, but I promise the grip on it is insane. Um, another, uh, YouTuber business uh, that Grace Beverly's brand band and I've got the long khaki resistance band which is great for some like arm workouts and I'm just like loving it and also I ha I got this ages ago but it's just so easy so handy to have and that's her short loop resistance band um, and I got them both in a medium strength okay I'm lying I could have got the heavy I wanted the heavy for the booty booty band but uh, the heavy didn't come in this print, so I got the medium. <laughs> no. Anyway, so yeah, that's those. The next few random things that I've got are this. I feel like I'm super, super late to the party on this, but this is the Lenore Unstoppables. And basically, I only put it in my bed sheets and my towels, but it makes such a difference to your washing. It smells amazing. I've heard that you can put it in your wardrobe as well, like in little bags, so I might try that as well. But yeah, I feel like I'm really late to the party with these, but yeah, I love them. I completely forgot to add that my two podcasts that I am loving at the moment is The Secrets Out, which is Alfie Days' podcast, and also the In The Girls Bathroom. I'm loving that, the Sophia and Chintzia podcast. I listen to it when I'm driving, like it's so good and so relatable. Um, so yeah, definitely check those out. Final thing that I genuinely swear has been so handy and I'm gonna try and find the link that I used because I got it off Etsy, so it's an independent website. It is this little like hand sanitizer um, thing and I've got my initials on it there. So I've got DB on it there. So it's literally just this like, clear bottle of hand sanitizer, any hand sanitizer, but it's this leather case that you literally, I've been taking it everywhere with me, like months favorite, like that is, this is the year's favorite hand sanitizer. <laughs> but yeah, that's it I think, I think that's it. I know I've mainly done beauty, but I did want to add those few random bits because I didn't know where to put them, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked this video. I know it's a little short and sweet and me kind of rambling, but yeah, thank you so much and I will see you next week for another video.